In just a few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can rank your Shopify store on the first page of Google and massively increase the organic traffic using a basic two-step process. Step one, I'll run you through the Shopify SEO on-page and off-page checklist. Follow this process and your site can be ranked on the first page of Google in just 24 hours. Step two, I'll show you how to build authority and trust with Google. This will massively increase the organic traffic to your Shopify store. To do this, we're gonna get backlinks. I'm gonna show you how to get 100 plus backlinks in 10 days guaranteed. With this massive increase in free organic traffic, you can sell, promote, and market whatever you like. Let's go. So the first item on our list is we need to update all our page titles to be between 55 and 70 characters. How we do this, we head to Shopify, click on products. If we're going to update the product titles first, you go into your product and you scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see this area here that says search engine listing and we want to hit edit. And once we do that, we can edit this page title down to between that 55 and 70 characters. So if we just cut it off about here, and there we go, we're at 55 characters, let's leave it at that. So next on our checklist, we wanna update our page descriptions to be between 130 and 150 characters. We can see this is the description box here. All we need to do is take a few words out here. So let's just take a few words off this one. So we might update it to be something like this. We're at 140 characters, that's perfect. Hit save on that. So next on our checklist is keyword research. I'm gonna be using SEMrush for this. If you've never used SEMrush, it's really easy. I'll put a link in the description to give you a free account, which is all you need for this bit of research. So if I type in a keyword or a word that's related to the product I'm selling, in my example, I've got photography light box up here and I've hit search. You can see here, we've got decent volume for this keyword, that's important. And also the other big factor is its keyword difficulty. This keyword difficulty or KD as it's sometimes referred to is 30%. Anything 30% and lower, we've got a very good chance of ranking fast on Google. This could happen as quick as 24 hours. That may take longer depending if your domain is brand new. We've got a really good chance with this. So we're gonna go after photography light box. SEMrush is gonna give us a bunch of variations to this word and it'll also tell us the KD for these other words and phrases. We're going to select a few of them and then we are going to use this on our site, in our content, in our product descriptions, and this is key. Now, while we're on SEMrush, I'm just going to show you something. If we go down to Domain Overview, and if I run this process for my Shopify store, here we can see what happens if you follow this process and you implement the backlinks. Around January 2021, this process was done, and we've gone from organic traffic of three up to 957 in November. So it is really valuable to complete this process. And if you wanna work out how much you can save by doing this, if you go back to that keyword research overview, you can see here that every click for this keyword, photography light box will cost 72 cents on Google Ads. So if you calculate that, what your savings will be in a year, if you go from three clicks up to nearly a thousand clicks instead of paying for that traffic getting it free from organic you can save thousands every year next item on our checklist we want to update all the content that we can on our shopify store with our keywords and phrases for example we select these keywords and phrases they've got good volume and we know from above that the keyword difficulty is below that 30 percent which will allow us to rank a lot quicker on google so with our keywords we want to make sure we can add them to as many places as we can on our Shopify store. So for example, on our landing page, we've got photography light box. That's one of our keywords. If we scroll down a bit, we can see again, we've got this section here. Why buy a photography light box? You add it where it makes sense. We want to do this on our landing page, but we also want to do it on our product page, in the headings, in the titles, in the descriptions, because all of this content gets crawled by Google. Remember, Remember, with Google, it's all about content. You've got to send enough signals to Google so it knows what this content is and when to present your page. Next thing on our checklist is we need to draft and publish a blog related to our Shopify store using the keywords and phrases we selected in SEMrush. Now, I'm not much of a writer. When I do this type of thing, 
I get artificial intelligence to write it. And one of the best tools is Jasper. Jasper can actually write a full length blog based on just a little bit of criteria you give it, like the keywords and the topic. You can claim a free trial here, and I'll put a link in the description. Now, with the blog, you also want it to be targeted for SEO. And the way we do that, once Jasper has done its first cut, you jump over to a tool called Surfer SEO, and Surfer is actually gonna refine the criteria. So for the keywords and phrases you're going to target, it's going to tell you how many words, headings, paragraphs, and images you need in this article to rank on Google. I have done other videos specifically around Surfer and Jasper as well, and you can check those out. I'll put links in the description, but with this, you can produce a blog article that is gonna rank really high on Google and get found fast. The second last item on our checklist is we need to optimize our content on our Shopify store and our blog. And the best way to do this is head to Surfer. So Surfer has this tool within it that can run SEO audits on each page of your site. It will look at the content length, it will look at the number of headings, whether you've got referring domains, and it's going to tell you what you can do to improve your SEO score, and it'll also compare you against other sites to show you where they think you're gonna rank in search results. The second option you've got, or you can use this in combination with Surfer, is to go back to SEMrush, and you can actually run this on-page SEO checker. And you run this for your domain, and it's gonna come up with lots of high-priority ideas that you can implement to further enhance and improve your SEO. The last item on our checklist for step one of this process is connecting your Shopify store to the Google Search Console. And this is really quick and easy. All you have to do is Google Google Search Console, or I'll put a link in the description just to make it even easier. You just come on here and you hit start now. And there's just a couple of steps to connect your store to the Google Search Console. And once you're in that console, you can force a recrawl of your site. There's no point doing all of this work and then waiting three months for Google to finally get around to crawling it. You wanna finish this work, connect it, and force it to recrawl. And then basically it will index your site. And with a bit of luck, if you've followed these steps, you should be on page one really quick. So that completes step one of the Shopify SEO checklist. So now let's get backlinks. This is step two in the process. We're going to get 100 backlinks in less than 10 days, guaranteed. So first, what are backlinks and why do we care? Well, backlinks are like votes that tell Google that a particular website is trustworthy and the content on the site is valuable, credible, and useful. The more of these votes, you have, the higher your site is gonna rank with Google and the more organic traffic you are going to get. Now, if we take a look at one of SEMrush's blogs here, they actually outline how to get backlinks from authority sites. And as they've explained, you can create highly shareable content, you can do guest postings, maybe on a podcast, you can follow trends. We're actually not gonna do any of these because they take a long time and they can take a lot of effort. If you head to a site called Brand Featured, and I will put a link in the description or you can just Google it. This is a service that will actually write a press release around your business and they take care of everything. It will be sent out and published on 100 plus sites. When I've done this, I've used the pro version. The whole process was really quick and easy. There are probably other services that do this and it may be similar. I'm only showing you this one because it's the one I've used. If we look back over on SEMrush on a domain overview here, for my Shopify store, I did this process in around February, and you can see the difference. Three clicks a month around January, February, up to around a thousand. So these backlinks and the other part of the SEO process has a massive impact. And just to give you an idea of what the press release will look like, this is an actual press release from Brand Featured. If you go with the Pro Package, they will draft the entire press release based on some criteria that you give them. Then you do a couple of revisions and you approve it. It's really easy. If you follow this process, your Shopify store will rank on the first page of Google Fast and your organic traffic growth will be rapid. As for backlinks, there are other ways to get backlinks. However, the process described in this video is easy, professional, and there is nothing dodgy about it, and it works really well. I've got a link in the description that'll give you $50 off the standard pricing with brand featured if you wanna give it a go. For the small upfront cost, it really can improve your SEO and drive more traffic to your site without paying for ads. If you got some value from this vid, it'd be awesome if you hit the like button 
and also consider subscribing to the channel if you like this type of content. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. This video here goes into more detail on the SEO process if you want to check it out. Catch you in the next one.